Uh, uh, ice cream. Ice cream. Gonna get some 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 ice cream. Oh, the dude's on the other side. <laughs> That's the problem. There you go. Hi. Gonna get some ice cream. 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 Buddy, sorry for that roaring sound in the background. That's our water heater. It uh, usually is on, but now it's on, and I don't know how loud it's going to be. So hopefully you can hear this. It'll go off in a second. Um, this is going to be just this week's finds. I found a whole bunch of stuff. We went to another show. We went to the Riverside Hot Wheelers show, which is now three times a year. So this was the uh, November run. And the next one's going to be in February for those that live out here in Southern California. Very much worthwhile show to go to. And for somebody like me that's looking for deals or people just kind of dumping collections, trying to get rid of stuff, it is a perfect place. So um, I'll show you what I picked up. We did get some new cars. And to tell you the truth, I don't know what cases these are. I think they're mixed cases um, because they are on international cards. So I'll show you the back on each one. And if you remember the international symbols see, or, or uh, numbers, you can tell me. I think this might be a B case. Um, but uh, the 41 Willys. Here, we'll put these here for you to look at. Let's zoom in a little bit there. There we go. 41 Willys. As usual, I'm not getting all the cars. So we're not doing unboxings. And the truth is, these things are really getting mixed up between my Targets and my Walmarts anyways on what cases are coming in. It seems to be like that every Christmas. really like the flames on this one. That's why I picked it up. Very much my type of car, the 41 Willys. We've got ourselves the Rapid Responder. Now this one is not the, uh, what was it, Rapid Response or Emergency Response. This is the older casting, which um, tends to my uh, coloring is really saturated there sorry about that but this one tends to be very fast on the track so we'll see how it goes um, if you remember they redid this well it wasn't this casting but the what was a rapid response and this is rapid responder or something like that this is the faster one so we always pick this one up and oh again that one that's on an international car but there's the number for it and we got a Batman. I think we already picked one of these up, but I wasn't sure. Picked one up for Andrew. That is the new Batman. Very cool car. That is from Batman Superman. Dawn of Justice. We got ourselves the Volkswagen Caddy in red. This is one of the popular models right now. It won't go away for quite some time. And again, back. Looks like a B-case card. Come on, focus. Focus! Well, anyways, trust me, it's a B-case card. Looks like a caddy. We got ourselves an Aeropod, this time in blue. Kind of like it, don't like the wheels, but what you gonna do? I think I like this one better than the first go around. Very bright. That one is an uh, international card. I don't know what's going on with that focus there. We've got the treasure hunt for, I think this is the A case treasure hunt. That is Rig Storm. Somewhere on there is the treasure hunt symbol. There it is. 
And you can see back there on the card is the little wow. You found yourself an ultra rare, super expensive treasure hunt. Aren't you lucky? Don't email me. I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> so, uh, 12 Ford Fiesta. This one I think is from BK, well, international, but I think that's international BKs. Nice one. I guess I can deal with the white tires on it. Arctic Razor. So I guess it's got to have its... It's part of the Snow Stormer series, so I'm assuming we're going to see some white-wheeled cars coming up. Here's the Corvette Stingray. I think this is my favorite from this group. I think that white stripe's a little heavy on it, but... You know, what you gonna do? That one's from the Mild to Wild series. I'm not so sure what's ever gonna be mild about a Corvette Stingray, but hey, whatever. So, oh, a few more new ones. Uh, we've got the Dodge Charger Pursuit, this from Matchbox. Uh, this would look fantastic with uh, rubber tires with black rims, but looks pretty darn good. Matchbox, I just wish my stores carried more of them. I think Matchbox went so many years with nobody wanting them at all out here that the stores just gave up. They've been very, very random what I've seen on the Matchbox side. Oh, here's another, uh, another Hot Wheels, sorry about that. That's the 96 Nissan. One ADSX Type. X. That one is a, oh, this says it's a Q case. I thought it was an A case, but that's a Q case car from last year. So I did pick this up. I just thought this was the best thing of the week, and that is the Tonka Zamboni machine ice resurfacer, because they probably don't have a contract with Zamboni, <laughs> but uh, Tonka Hockey, I thought that I had to get. I've never seen this before. It's, um, I think it's part of the new series, and they didn't have that blue car there in the front. I'm wondering if that one lights up, so somebody can leave me a message. If it lights up, I'd be interested in it. Not so interested in the other ones that they had. I do like the Tonkas. You can see the date on it, 2015. Doesn't tell me if it's an older one or not, though. Um, so here are some older ones we picked up. I'm going to open these up because I'm not about to keep the, uh, the boxes on these. So for the collector, sorry, we've got a matchbox. Cool tank here. And I want it. It's mine. I don't need the fake little box. <laughs> and it's got its its crumbling uh yeah, it's got all sorts of cruddy little rubber bands stuck to it. Matchbox, if you collect matchbox you would know they must have invested in the world's worst rubber bands to hold their cars in place. There he is. Little Sherman tank, I think, right? Yeah, Sherman. Top moves. That is a cool little tank. It rolls really good. Not rubber treads, but I thought that was cool. Picked that up for 50 cents. Couldn't pass that up. The advantage, I tell you, when you take the cars out of the packages and you're just not interested so much in the collecting for the money, you can get really good deals. <laughs> Here's another little 50 center gone down in value limited one of 25,000 it's not so limited but yeah you know, it's part of the retro 70s collection I don't really want the box so there's this one this guy is just in pristine shape that's one of the older models, a newer, uh, a new upgrade. I have one of these already, but I couldn't pass it up. I figured that one needed a home. 
with the other match boxes. By the way, just to be a, uh, just to a lie, I keep the Across America 50th birthday ones in the package, and that's because they come with the little plates, and I don't want to lose the little plates. But uh, we did pick up Maine. This is a series that I am slowly getting all of them. I might already have Maine, I don't know. So uh, let's take a look at these, these guys here. I uh, picked up this Hot Hub series. This one I just picked up because I really like these wheels. And I wanted to see how fast it would be on the track. So eventually we're going to get around to it, a little ATV. Um, we got this Power Plower. This one I had to get it because what kind of Power Plower has a piranha on it? It could be the Power Power Plower with the piranha on it. <laughs> Eh, you know, I make myself laugh. <laughs> it comes with being a college instructor. Nobody takes you seriously. So there is that guy. We've got a Sweet 16, this one from 2002. These I pick up because of the engines. I do like the car, and it's not necessarily going to get chopped up, but I do, uh, I just like the car. It's a big, heavy car. It tends to be fast on our downhills. And I like that big metal engine because we uh, chop those pipes off sometimes. But this guy is safe for the time being. We've got the 57 Chevy. Man, there are a bajillion of these. And we have a bajillion of them. I don't even know which ones are worth something anymore. There's so many of them. Pretty sure the mainline ones aren't worth anything. But there he is with his five spokes. Would not be surprised, considering when this came out, and it's a mainline, if there weren't 15 wheel variations of that. We've got the Dark Rider series. This was the only one I was missing from this series. Not a big deal. This is the Riga Mortor. Um, always around Halloween, we see Riga Mortors being torn up for their coffins. It just reminded me of those ads that say keep your keep your cats inside, you know, your black cats around Halloween. Make sure you uh, lock your rig of mortars up around Halloween because their caskets get chopped off and their little skulls. One of the last remaining rig of mortars. Not real. Don't email me. I know. Uh, here is this uh, series. This one was with the bonus car. This was the race team series. Free bonus car! I don't know which one's the bonus. I don't know. But that is the Lumina Stalker on top, and that is the Hot Wheels 500 on the bottom. Um, yeah, I think we're going to open this one. I don't want to keep it. Open it up. There you go. There's your Lumina. And there is your Hot Wheels 500. By the way, all these we're looking at, these were the uh, like four for a dollar bin at the end of the convention. <laughs> if you, uh, kind of funny, I saw a bunch of guys I knew at the convention and they know I do the show. Well, most of them know I do the show. And um, there's your, what is this, Roadrunner? Uh, yeah, Roadrunner. Love that front badging on it. That's pretty cool. Um, they were teasing me about my my video on how to get decent deals, which goes to show I didn't really think of that. And so I waited to the end of the show. And they all made fun of me because I was waiting to get their deals. But I still got their deals. They actually knew I was coming, so I'd already made some deals. There is a, that's a three window. Yeah, it's a. I think that's a three window. Another one with flames, very cool with the Hot Wheels on it. Hard to get a tampo on this one with that little inset piece there. This one I was really excited about and I swear I've never seen it. And that is this guy. He is the, I don't even know how you say that. It is the Pro Tipo, Proto Tipo Alpha Romeo B-A-T-9, Bat-9. I think that one is super cool. 
and I'm not going to open it because I'm going to put that one in my office so that it can go up on the wall with the other cards, my favorite ones. Here's another Dark Rider Series 2. Now this one isn't really what I consider Dark Rider. That's the shiny, super not secret Dark Riders. Rig and Mortar over there is cooler. This is the super shiny guy. And that is, uh, who's this guy? Power Pistons. I should have got that. Power Pistons throws me off because I don't ever see pistons on it. it. Doesn't look like it would be named a Power Piston. Here we've got Funny Car Firebird. This one, we always pick these up when we see them. If we see any Funny Cars for under a buck, we pick them up for the downhill races. They tend to be fast if you can get the right one. We'll see how this guy lines up. Not the first one of those that we've gotten. We've seen him in some of the downhill races. And another one of the Spy Print series. And uh, quite honestly, I don't know how I ended up with this one. I think Andrew picked this one out. <laughs> so, because we already have it. So I think what we're going to do, there it is back opens up if you're not familiar with this car it is a uh, what is this car it is a Solar I always want to call it Ferrari the Solar infiltration spy the one the one thing you want to do when you're not when you're a spy is don't uh, put spy prints all over your car because then people know that you are part of the uh, Hot Wheels Secret Service and that you're trying to infiltrate them. And, and you shouldn't drive a Solaire. Brings a lot of attention to you if you're a spy. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to throw that one over on Andrew's desk. So that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>